What if I tell you that this headline represents the best thing that could have ever happened to you or the best realization that you could have ever had? Life is meaningless and you're gonna die. How many people do you think are aware of this fact? Again, fact that life is meaningless and that you're gonna die. And again, why is it meaningless? Because you're gonna die. So if you're gonna die, there's no point to anything. This is a philosophy uh, that was originally uh, conceived uh, by Albert Camus, uh, which is a French philosopher and writer, um, and it's called absurdism, just the absurd hero. Uh, and it talks about how in life, since you're gonna die, the only real philosophical or moral question you wanna ask yourself is why should I do or not do commit suicide? Um, this might sound funny, might sound weird, but this is actually a very important question. Why does my life deserve not committing suicide? Because once you realize that you're gonna die and nothing has meaning anyway, this is where you really wanna start focusing on life itself. Not just the bullshit that you think is life, but what life actually is for you. So the cool thing about this realization that you're gonna die anyway and life has no meaning is that there has to be a meaning perceived. So even though there's no meaning because you're gonna die, you have to have a meaning on a day-to-day -day level to function. So your brain has a subjective meaning either way. What this realization gives you is the ability to just pick your own fucking meaning and dispel any worry. So if you're worried about finances, don't worry, you're gonna fucking die anyway. If you're worried about uh, you know, your future, again, you're gonna die, that's your future, who gives a fuck? And if you worry about what people think about you, anything that you could worry about. Now the flip side to this shit is that it also sort of nullifies any sort of sense of hope. You know, there's no hope because you're gonna die. There's no future pleasure because you're gonna die anyway. But again, it sort of makes life into this play pretend theater kind of thing. So I highly recommend if you are sophisticated enough and willing to go through the hardships of adopting this understanding, and again, not belief, understanding, that life has no meaning and that you're gonna die anyway, what this gives you is sort of a, a freedom to just do whatever the fuck you want. Now, I'm not saying you should act like a fucking retard, just destroy shit and, you know, cause harm. You're probably not gonna do that because, again, you haven't been in control so far, just as I explained in the previous video, you haven't been in control and just realizing this doesn't give you any sense of, any real control, just sense of control. Uh, which does make life more enjoyable because you can avoid the drama of people, you know, worrying so much about life. I'm not saying this in a negative way. I'm saying this in a very positive way. You know, freedom, you know, just like in Fight Club. Fucking let go. Stop fucking focusing on, you know, all the bullshit things you're worried about because, again, you're gonna die anyway. I'm not saying just, you know, enjoy life and do whatever the fuck, but I am saying everything is nullified when you realize that you're gonna die anyway.